The musical keyboard has become kind of the universal tool the musicians use to communicate theoretical concepts. And so you don't have to be an amazing piano player uh, to be able to deal with that. We do need you to be able to use the musical keyboard to demonstrate theoretical concepts within music. By the end of this video, I want you to be able to connect the lines and spaces from the musical staff to the various notes on the keyboard. I also want you to be able to explain the layout of the keyboard and have a strategy for locating musical pitches. When you look at a musical keyboard, there's clear organization to what you're seeing. And the basic way that it's organized is in terms of white keys and black keys. So that's the first thing that you should identify. But if you look a little bit closer, you'll actually notice that the black keys actually have a pattern to them. You're gonna see groupings of two and three black keys. Now we can use this layout uh, to basically understand how the, the musical pitches are laid out on the keyboard. And the easiest way is to look and identify the groupings of two black keys. If we move to the white key that is just to the left of that, that is our note C. So as we walk through the musical alphabet, we can label the white keys C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and we would have landed right on another C. The video that deals with accidentals actually started to discuss this idea that the black keys become our sharps and flats. So just as we have C, the black key just above that is going to be C sharp, right? And you would have learned from that video as well that enharmonically it's also D flat. So our next white key is D. Now each of these keys on the keyboard actually uh, relate to a line or a space in the musical staff. And that becomes important because how we generate or how we communicate ideas um, on the musical staff then can also be transferred and played on the keyboard. This is how music theory, uh, I, I guess people, music theoreticians, um, basically kind of like to, like to think. So even though that you don't have to be a master at playing any of these ideas, it would be important for you to have a good understanding of the keyboard layout and being a, be able to do simple stuff like play some scales and eventually uh, practice intervals and be able to plunk out chords on the keyboard.